So today we're pleased to announce RetroPie for the Ratzer Rock 5C. This is the cheapest and most affordable entry level uh, version of the RK3588S, which you guys have seen here on the channel. Now there are a number of different variants for this uh, particular chip, like the Orange Pie 5, the Ratzer Rock 5B, Banana Pie, and other various single board computers that are out there, including the UE2 R1 single board computer. But we decided to work on this one because it was requested by a number of different followers here on the channel and thought it would be uh, something to kind of experiment with. Uh, particularly in regards to emulation. Now, in terms of performance, this does perform very similarly to the Orange Pi 5 and the Rock 5B. We have Wii. You can also compile PlayStation 2 emulation. Uh, the PlayStation 2 emulation, you will have to compile the emulator on here. But this particular image can be found on my Patreon under the $15 tier level, and it is a one gigabyte download. Not all the emulators are compiled on here. You will have to compile a number of those on your own, but we wanted to keep it really small and depending upon uh, the number of requests, and then maybe we'll eventually add on to it. But uh, for now, I think this is a good starting point at a one gigabyte level entry uh, in terms of file size. Now you can see here, this is my custom theme. This is not going to be available on the download. I did load up about 3000 arcade ROMs on here and Nintendo GameCube and Nintendo Wii emulation. Now, as far as the Wii emulation and GameCube, uh, there are some minor tweaks that you can use to perform to get better optimization out of it. Again, this definitely performs very uh, reminiscent to the Rat Orange Pi 5. But again, you will need to make some tweaks on here for uh, some of the GameCube and then also the Wii games. Now, one of the games that I did add was Mario Kart Double Dash. There is a fix for that. Most of the people in the retro gaming community have been complaining about the uh, the blue screen effect that it does have. There is a fix for that, and what was causing the issue was the OpenGL and Vulkan driver. So typically when you launch this game, I believe it launches in Vulkan. You have to go through there, save it, change it to OpenGL, and then go through a couple of other configs to make sure that it does save successfully. So uh, that will pretty much erase that whole blue screen issue. Also experiment, experimented with Super Smash Brothers Brawl. It does perform pretty much uh, very similarly to the Orange Pi 5B. And then we also had Tetsunoku versus Capcom. Now that one will require more tweaking, but I did have a fun time uh, playing it. However, when you do a, a few of the supers, there was a little bit of noticeable uh, slowdown. Over here, we have our options. And so keep in mind, you're not gonna see all the options as you typically would with RetroPie on a Raspberry Pi uh, 3, 4, or 5. Keep in mind, RetroPie is native only to the Raspberry Pi. However, you can port it over to single, uh, other similar single board computers, which is like what you have see here in front of you. We have the bezel project. We have our Bluetooth, config edit, ES themes, and before I go any further, I think Bluetooth does work on here. I know there's usually, uh, there'll still be a typical section as you would see on this and other uh, RK3588 chipsets, but I believe since it has been a few weeks uh, that it did work and it did detect my controller. We have ES themes, we have Switcheroo, which allows you to switch back and forth between emulation station, desktop, or Kodi. File manager, Hersey's themes, Ratsy utility, RetroArch, RetroArch netplay, RetroPie setup, this is where you can go to download additional emulators such as Daphne Hephaestus Singe as well as I think there's like two or three different more versions of Fame you can use to compile on here. But uh, as far as you're going, you, you only have the basics that uh, that's on here to get you started. Let's take a quick look at Ratsa Utility. This will where you would go to set up your Wi-Fi as well as some additional configurations. And as you can see here, we have our system, we have hardware, overlays, connectivity, user settings, localization. That's also helped uh, use to set up your Wi-Fi and uh, some other settings there. So let's go ahead and back out. And if you do plan on buying the Rock 5C, I do have a couple of caveats. Uh, number one, uh, I no longer invest any of my time with these four gigabyte boards. So make sure you get the eight gigabyte version if you plan on using this or any other single board computer that's pretty much out there, uh, especially running Linux. You want to at least get eight gigabytes because 
uh, some of these menus, or not so much the menus, but the operating systems, they have more demand on them. And so you don't want to be able to get something like that and you don't have enough resources to play some of these games, even though it really doesn't require much. Uh, the OS does, which is running in the background of all of these gaming front ends. So again, this uh, board came out a few weeks ago. Uh, I think it is probably the most affordable RK3588 variant that is out there. And I did a, a number of different launch videos kind of talking about it. It has all the same specs. In fact, it has four USB. It has your two USB 2.0, two USB 3.0. It has your Wi-Fi uh, Bluetooth. You can use Ubuntu with this as well as a number of different other front ends that are available for you. But all in all, I wanted to get this one because it was uh, two boards we had thought about developing on, which was the Orange Pi 5 Max and then, of course, the Radford 5C. But the issue with the Orange Pi 5 is they constantly keep releasing more hardware. And it's like, well, why do that at that point? So we stuck with Radsa. Uh, Supreme Team ported over uh, RetroPie for the uh, for this particular board. It took a few hours and so forth, but uh, this will be an enjoyable experience. So if you want to have your Atari games, NES, or anything else that's on here, uh, your Sega Master System, Sega Dreamcast, you know the noticeable favorites in terms of retro gaming, you will be pretty much uh, thrilled and fun to have this. Uh, but again, out of the arcade classics, uh, we still have some issues with NFL Blitz and Killer Instinct, so don't expect some improvements there. And again, I was able to kind of go through a number of these arcade-based ROMs to make sure all of these are working satisfactorily, as emulation should. Let's see, we got, let's see, PS2. Remember, that uses Ether, so you guys can compile that yourself. I believe there are some instructions online. Uh, in, in in terms of how to uh, go ahead and compile that for your single board computer. But as I was saying, you can clearly find this directly on my Patreon for the server tier. Uh, again, a few people asked us to port this over. Wanted to know what my experiences with this would be about. I don't think I'll spend so much time kind of diving into some of the other operating systems that are available for this board because we kind of have a really good idea about what the RK3588 uh, chipset will uh, look like but uh, over the other than that you know again it was $60 and then I paid another $10 or so for the case I bought a few of these so it wasn't just for me I bought it for my other development teams to kind of get uh, a good look at it but uh, this has a really good chip and you guys know what I've been saying if you're paying 50 to $60 now for a single board computer it better be able to run at least from a hardware perspective I know compiling is another thing but from a hardware perspective it ought to be able to run PlayStation 2 and some of these other demanding systems I mean uh, the Raspberry Pi 5 is still coming in at what 60 to $80 uh, Sixty dollars for the four gig model and now you can get this one uh, even though the development isn't as robust as a Raspberry Pi 5, uh, this is still a pretty good board in terms of uh, the hardware requirements. But again, we still rely on software and development to kind of push the board in terms of what it can fully do. So uh, with that being said, make sure you guys check out some of my affiliate YouTube uh, channels. We have Kiel Boom Daikin, where we do fireworks and Kiel RC Daikin, as well as where we upload additional gameplay on arcade media. And then, of course, you can also go to my Facebook group, Kiel Daikin Hobbies, on, on Facebook, as well as I also assist with running a number of different groups, such as RetroPie Official or Arcade Paradise and a few others. If you guys uh, have any questions, want to chime in. But uh, other than that, this is a currently available on the server. It's been... I've been kind of playing around with this now for the past couple of weeks, but make sure you hit the notification bell. We have some other releases we want to talk about in release as well as a demo for all of the followers here on the channel. So with that being said, you guys all have a great night. This is KDK Kildiken. I'll catch you later. Peace out. Bye-bye.